welcome back to the show. I'm so excited you're here. And um, I think I'm really excited because of what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about you and your ability to make great things happen around you, your ability to inspire, your ability to influence others, your ability to be a change agent, your ability to influence. And what we're talking about is your leadership ability. And I um, believe that when we spend time to maximize on our leadership capability, when we spend time to develop our leadership, we can make amazing things happen in our world. And I believe that everything rises and falls on leadership. So whether you think you're a leader or not, you are a leader, whether you believe you have leadership ability or not, you you do. And that's really why I wanted to, you know, spend some time on this today, because I find that I believe that there are two groups of people um, when it comes to leadership. I believe there are two groups of people. I think that uh, the first group is the group that has, for as long as they can remember, always aspire to be a leader, um, even as a kid. You know, maybe they were the captain of the team. They were um, the kid that wanted to be first online. They wanted to gather the class together um, and help the teacher. They um, always, you know, loved having people follow them, right? And that continued throughout their life. They've always found uh, ways to connect to their leadership and took, you know, whatever the opportunities were to show up as a leader, they they were they were right there to to um, exercise that uh, opportunity. And then I think there's another group. Uh, some of you might be in this group, right? The second group, who um, might even struggle with the idea of calling themselves a leader. Uh, maybe they don't really identify themselves so much as a leader, but they work really at a high level. They're growing in their field they're doing great things, right? They're successful. They're accomplishing, um, you know, what they set out to do. They, they spend time developing their craft or their skill. And then, you know, at some point, right, they find themselves as they're growing in their business and their organization, right? As they, they move to different levels of success and growth, they realize they need different skills and they need people, they realize they need people because no one can really scale alone, right? So when you're looking to take it to the next level, you understand that you need people. You need people to help you move that forward. You need people to come on board the team or in your company to do additional uh, things with you. And so with that, you suddenly realize one day that you are either being called a leader or you need to show up as a leader. Um, because you have to lead the people. And so here's the thing, guys. It really doesn't matter how you get to be called a leader, right? Whether you're in group A or group B. What is important is that we understand that we have a responsibility to develop our leadership. And that in order to develop our leadership, it is about developing ourselves, right? And that leadership, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a second, you know, self-development, but leadership, developing your leadership is important because it it's a part of everything that we do. And when we develop that potential, it's going to affect and change everything for us. And it's going to add to our effectiveness um, in our relationships, in our businesses, in our jobs. It gives us, you know, the opportunity to um, be rewarded for growth. It can also help us leverage our weaknesses. It can help us connect better with people, lead people, which means that we'll also get different outcomes, right? It's going to help leverage our time because we have more people who can help us. And ultimately, it multiplies our impact. And I don't know about you, but that's something I think a lot about, the impact I want to make on the world, you know, I don't want to just hang out here on earth for whatever time I have. I want to make an impact. And I truly believe on, for me, on a spiritual level, that we're all here to connect with each other and, and make an impact, right? So growing in your leadership capacity helps you to do that. 
And growing in your leadership capacity is a commitment to not only the people you want to lead, but to yourself as well, because it's through your personal growth that you will develop your leadership. And um, so I want to unpack a lot of that with you today. Um, I get really passionate about leadership. I spend a lot of time on leadership directly and indirectly every day. Um, I am a leader and I want to create more leaders. That's one of the reasons why I have this podcast, because I think it's an opportunity for us to examine the way we think. It's an opportunity for us to then maybe think bigger, uh, learn new things from each other. And so, you know, this podcast is a platform for me to create an impact. And I believe that every one of you can can create ways to do the same, whether, you know, it doesn't have to be a podcast. It, it could be one conversation you have with someone today that could totally change their world and send them on a different trajectory. That's what leaders do, because I believe that leaders really show people how to think. Leaders have an opportunity to create connection, build trust, to guide, to create a vision, right? That's another important part of leadership. Leaders create vision and they're able to articulate that vision in a way that helps other people not only understand the vision, but wanna be a part of the vision. They want to be a part of, of making great things happen so that vision becomes reality. And I know you get this because I'm sure you've all had the experience of being led by a great leader at some point in your life, whether it was a coach on the soccer field or in the boardroom, or whether it was a teacher, whether it was a partner, you've experienced this. And I want you to think about how great that made you feel and how you grew exponentially because of that leadership. And now as you develop your leadership ability, you get to help someone else do the same. And so what I love about leadership is the energy that is transferred between people because leaders give so much, but they also receive because as I have developed my leadership and continue to develop my leadership, not only do I hope to pour into other people and help them and create an impact in their career, in their life, I also get so much in return. It is so fulfilling to be a leader because I get to watch growth. I get to experience transformation. I get to be a part of things that are, are developing and are creative and really are, are making, you know, an impact in the world around us. And that's, an amazing part of being a leader. The other part of being a leader is understanding that it's also a responsibility. We have a commitment to helping people and therefore we have to have a commitment. If we're going to help other people be the best that they can be, then I have to work every day to be the best that I can be. So being a great leader means that we also have a commitment to personal development, to being learning based, to wanting to, you know, develop ourselves so that we're in the best position to develop other people, right? So, so many great things to consider in this conversation. I have a couple of questions I want to give you. I'm going to put them in the show notes as well. And so this way, if you're listening while you're driving, don't worry, um, you can always come back to this later. But I have three questions that I think would be great uh, journal prompts for you that you might want to come back to and, and just kind of think about and write out a little write out a little bit of what your thoughts might be on these questions. Uh, the first question is this, what will change? What will change in your life when you develop more as a leader? What will change in your life when you develop more as a leader? The second question I want you to consider is how much more effective can you become in your organization, in your business, in your organizational, um, in your um, 
sorry, uh, Christine, I'm going to start again with this question, second question. So you have to edit. Second question, how much more effective will you become? How much more effective will you become in your relationships, in your organizations, whether you work for a company or you own a company, right? How much more effective will you become as you grow your leadership? And then the third question, how will you multiply your impact? I love that question, right? If you could sit and create vision, around the ways that you wanna multiply your impact by developing your leadership? What starts to come to life when you answer that question? And I get it, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily think about developing their leadership skills until they have to, right? Until, like I was explaining earlier, that second group of people finds themselves suddenly needing to uh, figure it out, right? Because someone called them a leader or they have people that are are relying on them for guidance. Um, but the truth is leadership, as I said, is part of everything that we do. And it does show up in every area of our life. So leadership skills are essential and so important because and influence is everything. You know, influence is leadership and leadership is influence. Um, and again, an effective leader can move people into action. And so the world needs more great leaders. The world needs more effective leaders. And what I want to also be clear about is that this is not about perfection, right? While I, I do agree that leadership comes with responsibility, leadership comes with a commitment to personal growth, um, it is not about being perfect, OK, as a leader, you can't always be perfect because you're human. And I think as human beings, we're always doing the best that we can. But one of the things that is true for leaders is that leaders are, are willing to figure it out and leaders are resilient and they are able to bounce back if something goes wrong. Um, I think another trait of a great leader is that they ask questions of themselves and others. And so when something doesn't go according to plan, when something doesn't quite work out, a great leader is just gonna ask questions around what happened and use that information to create better strategy going forward. And, and I think that as leaders, we teach other people what we learn, right? So I know leadership is not always easy and it does require a high level of, commitment and self-awareness, but it it just means that we have to be authentic in our approach and not have to worry so much about being perfect. And I believe that people want to follow a leader that is real more than they want to follow a leader that is right. So in, in understanding all of this and really creating a plan to develop our leadership, I think it has to really start with us. And I think that we have to start with self-awareness and personal growth. So self-awareness is a crucial trait for any successful leader. I think it, it allows you to understand when you're self-aware, you understand your strengths, you understand your weaknesses, you're open to um, what your blind spots, blind spots are. Uh, you're adaptable, right? And, and you're learning based. So a self-aware person is also someone who is in touch with how they show up in a room, right? They understand the energy they bring in. They're responsible to that energy. Um, and they are aware of their emotions. And a self-aware person, uh, which is part of being a great leader, understands how to keep their emotions in the in between the lines, right? Because we have to acknowledge that as leaders, people are following us. Therefore, people are listening to us. They're watching us. They rely on us. And so we have to keep our emotions intact. We have to be able to be more proactive than reactive. And that's another, I think, really great opportunity. If you want to develop your leadership ability, it is definitely about developing your self-awareness, right? So that you can be more effective as a leader. Um, and, you know, just a couple of things about self-awareness, right? 
Um, we talked a little bit about emotional self-awareness. I think another key uh, part of developing your self-awareness is self-reflection. Taking some time to just think about what's working, what's not working, um, consider the experiences that you're having and consider the experiences that other people are having around you. Um, I think that's a big part of developing our self-awareness and just understanding your values, right? So have you taken the time to identify your top values? Um, have you taken the time to understand how to work within your values? Because when we find ourselves working outside of our values, that causes a lot of stress. So being self-aware is also knowing what your values are. And as a bonus for all of you, um, you know, who are listening to the podcast, uh, I have a free download for you on uh, uh, in the show notes for this episode. And that is an exercise to help you identify your values. It's, it's really probably about a 30 minute exercise that will give you the, the resources you need to come up with your top seven values. And when you understand your values, you understand your operating system. So I think that's another important part of, you know, elevating yourself as a leader and developing more of your leadership ability. So I'm excited to give you that tool as a, as a free gift for this episode. And then, you know, I think lastly, I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about uh, another key part um, or foundation of leadership and self-awareness is understanding emotional intelligence. And I think to be effective, leaders have to have a solid understanding of EQ. And, you know, emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those of the people around you. So people with a high degree of emotional intelligence know what they're feeling. They know what those emotions mean. They know how these emotions can affect other people. And this is a really important concept in leadership today. Um, and to tie it all in, you know, from what everything we've been talking about on this episode, the five key elements to emotional intelligence are self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills, right? So the more that you as a leader can manage each of these areas, the higher you can grow your emotional intelligence, so I think what we'll do um, on, a, we'll definitely spend some time on this on a future episode. We'll, we'll break down more about emotional intelligence specifically um, as a, an opportunity to help all of you, you know, develop in your um, leadership and also just develop more, you know, personally and professionally. I think it's a really important part of calibrating our effectiveness in, in, in the business world today. Um, and, and really, leadership in general is an opportunity for all of us. And uh, so I, I trust that you've got exactly what you need to hear today, whether you thought of yourself as a leader before the beginning of the show, you, I hope now consider that you are a leader because leadership shows up in everything that we do. Uh, every conversation, every relationship, um, whatever you might do professionally, uh, it, because leadership is not about title. And leadership is not about position, right? This has nothing to do with being a manager. This is everything to do with how you connect with people, how you build trust with people, how you inspire people, how you influence people. And when you can develop that in a really authentic way that is about putting others first, when you show up as a leader who truly cares about helping others grow and succeed, you will be rewarded and blessed tenfold for that. So who wouldn't want an opportunity to have that? So I am glad that we had this time together. As always, it is such an, a blessing to, to really come up with great content for you. And, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts and read a lot of books and go to different, you know, classes just like you. And um, so for me, this is... Um, Part of my gift back to you is to be able to share and teach you. And I look forward to that every week. So if you found value in this episode today, 
share this with one person, share this episode with someone who is in your world, someone that either you lead or is leading you and have a conversation around some of the key points of, of today's um, show and, and figure out how you can elevate your own leadership. Because when you do, you will become so much more effective in everything that, that you're doing. So thanks again, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.